What's going on, guys? So there's a lot going on with Mark Zuckerberg and Facebook and, you know, Instagram that I just want to unpack, explore, and even expose. Now, as many of you know, Facebook, WhatsApp, and Instagram all went down today. They crashed. This is the longest that they've had a blackout. Uh, apparently, you know, they took a hit in stocks. And Mark Zuckerberg, I know that he's had a lot of clashes with especially uh, GOP senators. He's been called up to Congress a couple times. And even the other side, too, they've been talking about, you know, Facebook being a monopoly, where's the competition? And then, of course, the GOP talking about the censorship. Now, if you don't know, Facebook is where I gained most of my followers. Before there was YouTube, Instagram, I got almost a million followers on Facebook. And when I first started, I was in South Korea, 2014, 2015. And you know, I gained a bunch of followers quick just preaching the little motivational messages. And at the time, maybe I had 300,000 followers. I had videos hit 25 million, you know, a um, couple million here and there, 500,000. But then I started seeing the censorship. I started seeing the double standards with conservative or Christian voices or voices that speak against the agenda. And a lot of people started seeing it. Now I got a million followers almost. And people are like, man, I never see your posts on Facebook. And then, of course, Facebook is always banning me. I get these 30 day bans. I don't know how many times I've been banned for a 30 day period. I mean, it's man, at least 40, 50 times. Right. And so I started seeing that and a lot of people got upset. That's why they tried to come up with Parler and all these other things, because it was clear that Facebook is censoring and, and banning information. And, you know, they try to act like they're the good guys, but they actually become the guys that people from other countries leave to get away from because of that control and that censorship and, uh, you know, almost that, that, that communism when it comes to how information should flow. Like, you're not allowed to have an opinion that goes against Facebook. Now, this is what I found interesting, right? Looking at this article on Yahoo News, they're talking about the Facebook files. Like, you know, I guess these leaked, people are looking into them, and they say, you know, Facebook has exposed been exposed for having a two-tier justice system. And this is on Yahoo News, so I'm thinking, oh, wow, they're about to talk about you know, the censorship and the things that we've been saying about Facebook for years, right? It says it knew Instagram, because Facebook owns Instagram, was worsening body image issues among girls. So the first thing they talk about is not censorship. They talk about how you've got these supermodel women, Instagram models, whatever you want to call them, posting themselves. And then the girls who don't feel good about their bodies and themselves are seeing those pictures apparently and it's messing up their mind and it's messing up their self-esteem uh i don't know how this is any different than what is it the, the sports illustrated swimsuit editions the stuff that we see in the commercials you know i if you don't feel good about yourself you know what i'm saying i it, it, that's just weird to me like you're mad about somebody else's life and what they're doing and uh you don't know what they're doing working out exercising putting in the work that's you know i'm not saying that these girls having these issues is not a real concern, but I just don't think that's something you put on somebody else, right? Second thing that they brought up is that Facebook had a bigger vaccine misinformation problem. So they're saying Facebook is going down because girls are upset when they see all these, you know, uh, gorgeous women on the thing. And then because there's all this misinformation about vaccine, and that is not why it's going down. People have been going away from Facebook because of the censorship, because of the double standards, because of the hypocrisy, plain and simple. But of course, they're not going to admit that. Of course, they're not even going to address that in these articles because they don't want to admit that there's censorship. It's the same thing like when they... Uh, ban President Trump from Twitter, right? Oh, that was cool. That's acceptable. Well, it's Trump. People are not mad and upset about it, but there's many people that have been getting banned, right? They say, I, I do hate speech, which is not true. You know, I, I have biblical views and things like that, but it just blows my mind like that they don't see their own. I mean, I believe they do see their double standards. I think that they do, but they just don't care. Why? Because they are the monopoly. All you have is Facebook and when people try to come up with these other apps and stuff, the reality is uh, Facebook was built, you know, very well. That's why it became so popular that other people, they're not coming up creatively with things that are, I would say, user friendly or just as appealing. So they've got this monopoly and they just they control it. Right. If you speak against 
anything that, you know, Mark Zuckerberg doesn't like, and then it's ran by super liberals. I think they had a talk about um, how many maybe conservative people do they actually have working for Facebook. I think they're based somewhere in like uh, California or something like that. And that, that was something they talked about. So it's just bias. It's, it's straight bias. It reminds me of, um, you know, what's that guy's name? Jamison on Spider-Man. He wanted to paint Spider-Man as a bad guy. So he wanted to put all the news out a certain way. So if anybody puts out ideas or information that goes against the agenda, they ban you, they censor you. Oh, they shadow ban you. If you go to my Instagram, right, and you put in Marcus Rogers, Child of the King, sometimes it pops up. It depends. Like, they, they put the shadow ban on, and then they take it off. They put it on. But you won't be able to find my name, but you'll see all the fake profiles of me pop up. And that's even with even more popular people on Instagram that I follow. You put their name in, and you can't find them. And I believe Candace Owens went, you know, and she had a... Uh, she had sued them, you know, for, for this kind of stuff that was going on. But it's just ridiculous. It just blew my mind how reading this article, they'll sit there and say, you know, Facebook is on a decline. You know, TikTok, you know, is, you know, doing better and growing faster. And their reason for it is not none of the things that we all know. They say it's because of this. So that just blew my mind, man. Like I said, wake up, man. Pay attention. Mark Zuckerberg, like I'm saying, if you would happen to see this, just know, like, you guys are becoming, you know, probably the thing that you would say that you hate. If you really sit back and think about it, say, hold up, I really am oppressing people. I really am oppressing people's views. I really am, you know, oppressing uh, an exchange of an I ideas. I want this one, one thought, one mindset to be out there. I want everybody to bow down to that. If not, I'm going to ban you. I'm going to censor you kick you off my platform. So I'm going to think about